Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are we doing? It's Big P here, and still, yeah you know don't you, the voice of hardcore boxing. Right, I'm going to ring Matt Skelton now, a London cabbie. There's a guy whose brains I like to pick, me and Dennis pick his brains all the time because Dale Nichols has let me down, and you Dale, helmet at week Dale, all the months. How are you doing, Matt? You all right, pal? Good, mate. How are you? Are you well? Your family well? All yeah, good? we're all good, mate. We're all good. How are you? How's your family? Yeah, everyone's all right. I mean, um, everyone's sort of locked down. Well, my mum's just got to work a day, basically, for all the other families just sitting in. Well, just basically people working for home, really. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Except myself, obviously, I can't work. How are you coping? How are you coping with it, Matt? Because you're a cabbie, aren't you? In driving a black cab in London. How, how do you? Uh, what What are you doing for for earning now? Then how's it work? Nothing. Well, you get a bit of money in June, didn't you, Russ? But um, we don't, just basically just trying to make ends meet, really. But I ain't spending loads. So I mean, yeah. Uh, I ain't been, I, my mortgage ain't gone through. It's uh, it's all froze at the minute because of this thing. So I'm going to be moving into. A I've just had a, a quote for a, for car insurance. Obviously, I've got a trade policy, and uh, it's anything up to fifteen grand, right? And they've just halved it, halved it, mate. <laughs> and I've said, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, I've had a better quote, and uh, they want to, uh, they want to, they want to sort it out. You know, and give me a better deal. They said, oh well, if you do this and do that, and you do this many miles, you know, they're just they're just funny merchants, aren't they? What do you think to uh, all this about with Sky? We people ringing up and cancelling, and them giving and them giving people VIP packages, and and, and still and doing it for next to now. I know somebody got a VIP package for twenty odd quid. Do you know what I mean? A month. So. Cartoons, videos, and all that crap, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they've got loads of stuff they can show us back. Old football, old boxing, you know, they, I mean, they've pumped stuff up on the Sky Sports Boxing YouTube, but I mean, how, how many more uh, there's a lot, there's many more fights can they show us that we haven't seen before? And really, now, once we've seen them fights maybe twice, we're only going to be we're only going to be interested in highlights, aren't we? So, yeah. No, I've never seen no like this, mate. I haven't either, so it's uncertain times for us. It is, so... My nana's in war, World War II, because she's 95, I think, 94, but other than that, nobody else has seen anything like this, have they? Yeah, they, they, they weren't. Obviously, I don't think I were taking it that serious at no, first. I wasn't. Because the thing is, I mean, I didn't. You know, the last Friday where they said, yeah, everybody can go out to the pub and all that. Yeah. Well, Dennis and a few few chaps went up Eckersall Road, Sheffield, and got sloshed, didn't they? And there were loads out there you couldn't move, but I, I didn't bother. I was thinking now, but I'd already been nipping here, there, and everywhere at the time and that. And I, well, and when government tell you something, we, we don't have any faith in them, do we? <laughs> well, it's, it's all, it's the majority of them. I, I mean, I don't watch the news anymore. I'm really lately, I've been watching the news, but I don't watch the news anymore because I don't believe that anything of what these people say in Parliament, I think, are 50%'s truth, 50%'s nonsense. So, I mean, I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't, but obviously I was taking note of what was going on in Italy, and Italy was getting really bad and, and 
it's got that. I'm, I'm not too sure if it's peaked there, but yeah. And slowly it's come here. So um, yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't help about this um, football matches, but it was bad in the country at the time. That's just been played behind closed doors. So, um, but that, that Friday you're talking about, I went out and had something to eat that Friday. But I mean, that's that's really the last time, really. And even even now, you can't even go to. You can't even get takeaways from coffee shops and that, so it's uh, it's strange times. Yeah, it's I'm not too, uh, too sure what to make of it really, but I'm keep trying to keep myself busy, and, uh, as I'm as I'm sure you are. So, uh, have you heard about Billy Joe Saunders? He's had. His oh. license suspended by board, and now the Calif California State Athletic Commission uh, uh, have suspended him till the 30th of November 2020. What's that, the California? California State, State Athletic have now jumped on it on bandwagon, as well as oh. British Boxing Board of Control. So, if we just say, for example, we'll, we'll obviously we get to the, the two situations that he's been that's been going on with him but if he's if he's suspended in California that means he can't get a license in Nevada is that correct? No because ne that's Neva Nevada's not California is it? Yeah but I thought in America if, you, if there was one state that banned you then you couldn't fight in another state. No it's California mate I'm just looking yeah. now uh, I'm just looking now Billy Joe Saunders box wreck it's only come on today, this suspended by California Commission. So I think that's um, I think that's his that's his Canelo fight basically gone on now. I think. Yeah, Ozzy Smith was saying that he reckons that's it. The first, what it is, you see, with Billy, right? The further, the the more he's not on the camp, the work, the bigger he'll get, won't he? Because he's a fifteen stone man, isn't he? And in a five foot eleven body. You know what I mean? He's always that. He's, he's, not, he's never... Listen, mate, as, as much as we worry on about his talent, he's, 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 he's never in shape, is he? Well, let, let, well let, let's just have a look at his, at his record and we'll dissect it. Right. Let's have a look at his record. Tell me his top five wins. What, off the top of my head? Yeah. Right, let's look at David Lemieux. Right, David Lemieux. Now, David Lemieux never had a belt when he fought Billy Joe. Well, we know that, don't we? And he'd won a world title. In, did he win a world title? He won a vacant IBF title against... Yeah, he did, Aston yeah. And Dan, who we had Dan about... Who we had, he had and he Dan lost it to three Golovkin, three didn't he? And then he, yeah, unified versus Golovkin and got... Uh, well, he beat Hassan and Dam in a life and death, right? Life and death with Hassan and Dam. Yeah. And Hassan and Dam at the time, it was June 2015. So, Hassan and Dam, 2015, he were born in. When were he born? I don't even tell you. Well, Hassan and Dam's 36. Oh, 84. So, Hassan and Dam were 31 at the time, right? And he, he'd seen better days, uh, Asen and Dam, and since then Asen and Dam's beat, who? Oh, who's he beat? He's beaten no one. That, that, that Asen and Dam, the version that beat, the Lemieux beat, that wasn't the version that even Peter Quillen beat. No, it wasn't, mate, Quillen it wasn't. Peter was champion, what, uh, early on, early, was it 2011, 2012, something like that? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, he's lost to Chudinoff, lost to Callum Smith, he lost to uh, Rayota Morata. Uh, they're, they're the guys he's lost. He beat Patrick Mendy with nine losses. Sibigensky with five losses. Thomas Gargula with two losses. He beat Blanco, a 12 0 novice. He fought, yeah, fair enough. He beat that Rayota first, but then he lost in rematch. And I mean, he beat a shot to death Martin Murray on a mandatory decision, life and death. And then Callum Smith picked him off. So, can we say that's a great win for Lemieux? No. He hasn't got a top notch win, no, Russ, has he? Really? Uh, no, no. It was, like, David Lemieux, in my opinion, right, were gifted uh, a win against Hassan and Dam 
uh, at at his hometown in his hometown because David Lemieux is from Montreal and he fought in Montreal so that's Billy Joe Saunders best win so so everybody keeps saying they all keep raving about it because they were looking into the crowd and showing the guy up and being disrespectful trying to be like Naz but Naz could ice people with either hand Billy Joe can't he's got feather feather du he's a feather duster man Billy isn't he punch power 48% 48% Feather Duster Man. Right, so that's his, That's one of his wins now. That were 2017. Back up after that, you'd have to go to 2015. Andy Lee, a career light middle, am I right? Yeah. Not a middle, a light middle. And who, who's Andy Lee's best win? Let's have a look. Who would you say is Andy Lee's best? Lee's best? It's Drew Wickwillan, isn't he? Koroboff, you'd have to say John Jackson or Koroboff, wouldn't you? They're C class, aren't they? So he folded against Ch uh, Chevez. He went, he went life and death with Anthony Fitzgerald. So and Andy Lee were coming on strong against Billy Joe. Then two knockdowns Billy got probably saved his bacon late on it fight, didn't they? Absolutely. And after that, who would you say? Chris Eubank and John Ryder. John Ryder's now probably B class. Chris Eubank's probably B stroke C class. Am I right? Yeah, I suppose in recent times the Ryder lip win looks better than what it is. What it did, yeah. Saying that, saying that just to uh, not to repeat what Terry said, but it's not the John Ryder at the minute. I think the John Ryder at the minute is an improved version of one that beat. That got beaten by Billy, but obviously Billy's a better fighter now anyway, so that win is still a, is, is a good win. Billy's got six wins. He's got six wins on his record against guys with no with no losses. He likes to take O's because they look good when they're in title fights, O's, don't they? Yeah, he took uh, Spyro Sullivan's O as well. John Ryder, Blander Armour, Chris Eubank Jr. And that, that guy he's just done recently... Uh, Esteban Caceres. That's it. That is it. His his record is been carefully he's been carefully matched until the, until he's got to the money fight Canelo and it now it's now looking like he might not get that now. Well, I think you've done a video. We well, done a video. I've done a few videos, haven't I, on him? A year or so back, uh, saying that as he missed the boat and yeah, I think I think now. Nah, Nah, he, he definitely has missed the boat. Because the longer this thing goes on, the longer this thing goes on, it, I mean, it's just it's looking more and more unlikely. And the only who want to be fighting for Canelo in September. Yeah. So and it, it, he's not going to fight it, it, unless unless the uh, unless that cowboy stadium offer him a lot of money. I mean, he's not going to fight anywhere else but Vegas. He's had six so, fights, Billy Joe Saunders, since 2015. I mean, come on. Six fights since 2015. I mean, do you know what? This is going to go down as one of the most wasted turns for us. It's going to be another Frankie Gavin, isn't it? Well... Listen, mate, do you know what he is, mate? Do you know what everybody says Billy Joe Saunders is? They say he's a bully, mate. Everybody I speak to in industry yeah. say he's a bully. Yeah. Now, do you know up there at the Ingle Gym, people one day will get Kel Brook's book and read it. When it's done, Kel Brook's book. And I'm telling you now, I'd bet anybody any money that Kel Brook comes out and says, reason he left Ingle Gym, because Billy Joe Saunders fry were frying his head on a daily basis. 
Because he used to be number one boy in there, wasn't he? Well, just, just banter, but with Billy, it's not banter, is it? He, he goes too far, doesn't he? I'm not going to get too personal, but... I, I, I've heard stories of what were going on up there and that, and Dominic Ingle fucking were, were pulling his hair out while he had left. <laughs> well, no? he's going to, well, yeah, pull yeah, he probably, yeah, he probably is pulling his hair out, or yeah. whatever, whatever hair he's got left on his body, I mean, but... It's, I mean, yeah, this, and then this thing, this video has just come viral on the weekend, I mean. Oh, he's doing it for attention, I think. I think he's doing it for attention. I think he's doing it for attention, Matt, for the simple reason. He's trying to be Floyd Mayweather. But Floyd Mayweather would do mad stuff like that, and people are tuning in to, for pay-per-view to see him lose, but Billy Joe Saunders isn't Floyd Mayweather, is he? saying out about it Coogan is he? Of course he's not saying anything about it. Because he's hanging out at the back of him. He's trying to defend him about the plane thing, about him ringing in, about, about him doing the plane thing. I bet Ben Davidson was absolutely fuming about that and his mate and Josh Taylor as well. I'd be, I'd be raging Russ, you know what I mean? And it gets to a point where it ain't a joke no more. Listen to this one right, listen to this one right. How long did Billy Joe Saunders last with Adam Booth? Right, could you imagine Billy doing that to Adam Booth or Jimmy Tibbs? What he did to Ben Davidson. Nah. So, tails wagging dog now, innit? Would he have done it to Teddy Atlas? No. So why is he doing it to that Ben Davidson? Because he obviously don't respect him, does he? Would he have done it to Robert McCracken? No. No, there you go. So why do it to that Ben? Oh, maybe, yeah, but Dominic would have put up with it, wouldn't it? Dominic could have put up with it for 10%, wouldn't he? Well, maybe. Depends how money hungry you are, really, I suppose. But, obviously, the fight weren't cancelled then, was it? But, well, it was. It was just they knew it weren't going ahead. But, I mean, it's just what it was. Well, like, what do you think the board are going to do with him now? Because how many more times can you find him? I mean, he got fined 100 grand for that thing when he was taunting that woman outside that Rolls Royce that time. Yeah, well. What do you think the do with him now? What are they going to chuck another 100 grand for him? Or are they just going to ban him? What do you think, think happened to us? Well, I was speaking to somebody yesterday about it, and he says he agreed with me and a few other people that Billy Joe Saunders, right, he's just dad. A fight in Los Angeles is where do you earn now? Eddie's not going to put him on in UK because he doesn't do tickets, does he? Am I right? No. So he's going to be fighting in America. He can't fight in California till till December. So he's knackered in England. He'll get a fine in England. He can say piss off to fine in England if he wants. And uh, he can fight in New York or Vegas because New York Vegas is. Well, it's it, it, it's a f full of whores, Vegas, isn't it? It's where people go to wash away the sins. And New York's very similar, so he'll be able to fight in them states, but he won't fight in England again, I don't think. And Eddie didn't have plans to fight in England anyway. So that's that's how I look at it. I don't think he'll fight in England again. If he does, he'll have, had, he'll have to pay a fine with board. But I don't think his heart's in boxing at the moment. We're talking about a kid here, Billy Joe Saunders, right, that... He could have been a Carl Zaggy. He could have had 10 years as a world champion in a weight division. He is that good. But there's obviously something mentally stopping him being a superstar, isn't there? I mean, he's undefeated, 29-0. He's a two-weight world champion, but he's been gifted two belts, hasn't he? Um, well, I mean, there's two middleweight was a gift, yeah. I mean, if he had been with Frank Morty, he would have been getting that 
Yeah. Well, why weren't the Andy Lee belt a gift? Fucking light middleweight fighting at middle. Well, he still got. He still had to beat Andy Lee. Do you know what I mean? But saying that, saying that, he did take a step. Well, people forget as well. He took a step aside before that. Before he even they could have bought Quillen. They took yeah. Step aside money. Because step aside money is free money. Nobody refuses step aside. No, no, and him and him and uh, his promoter would have got paid nicely out of that. So, and that's when that's when Al Heyman had, had the sort of money. He was throwing around a lot of money in the sport. Yeah. More than what he is now, so <laughs> you know the, the league wins an okay win. It's not. There's been easier title. There's, 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 there's been e easier title works in there, last you know what I mean? Oh. I, that. I never rated Andy Lee anyway. Personally, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't rate him myself. I didn't rate right. him. Dangerous puncher. Dangerous puncher. At light middleweight. You know, Right, so he fought Billy at middleweight, so he's not so dangerous at middleweight, is he? We saw what Andy Lee did against, uh, what, Chavez, didn't we? What happened there? He got folded like a deck chair at middleweight, didn't he? Yeah, I so, think Chavez was, Ch Ch Chavez was probably never middleweight, and he was, pro he was probably uh, using dodgy substances to even help him get down to that weight. Yeah, yeah, but you've got to understand, Matt, 36 hours before they fought, they're both 11 stone 6, aren't they? So that's Matt, Matt Andy Lee's fault for taking fight. It, who is Andy Lee iced at middleweight? Who, who's any good? Well, he's, he's, he's not our core off, we've had TKO, Fucking Korobov? So, yeah. Come on. Come on, Korobov's yeah. no be great shakes, is he? No, he's not. That's his best. That's his best win in, in his career, in my opinion. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd agree with that. I'd that's agree his. That. That's his best win, Andy Lee. Uh, he, he knocked Korobov out, but I don't personally see any any other great shakes on his win on his CV. But getting back to Billy Joe Saunders, this is how I look at it. But the Billy Joe Saunders situation, who cares? He's famous for being famous, isn't he? He's, he's Twitter famous, isn't he? He's another Dave Allen, isn't he? Twitter famous. He's not... He, listen, he, we, we, we're never talking about what he's doing in the ring, are we? We're always talking about what he's doing outside the ring, so... Yeah. That's, uh, that's how I think he'll be remembered now. Yeah. So, so more... 12 years now, boss. So. Been a pro 12 years, yeah, and, and, yeah. and we're still talking about him and we're still waiting for him to produce. He, he, he's the Stan Collymore of boxing. Yeah, I think that sums <laughs> it up perfectly, boss. Yeah. Um, uh, so moving on, moving on then, Matt. Moving on. What what's what's this list that you've got then? Uh, for we're just, we're questions. Just, we've got we've got a few things we can discuss. Go you on. Know what I mean? So um, what well, this. I'll tell you what we discuss about Matchroom and Dazone and when Dazone are coming to the yeah. UK because they, obviously they will come to the UK. I think it's uh, I think it's worth discussing because I think it's an ongoing story, but it's just, just going to keep keep getting bigger and b